When we were choosing our roaster's choice for November, it was one of those rare occasions at the roastery when we all were in agreement. We were cupping a wide sample of coffees from Kenya, and there was one coffee that just stood out on the table. It was the single outstanding coffee we tried. And there was a consensus amongst the three of us that this was the coffee we wanted to share with you. It's called Key, and it's a double A grade coffee from Kenya. It's grown by around about 1,200 small holding farmers, and they each grow around about a half a hectare of coffee each. Now it's grown at 1600 to 1900 meters above sea level and that's going to suggest the kind of character we should expect in the cup. We're going to expect plenty of acidity there, we're going to expect plenty of fruit tones in the cup as well. And it's a fully washed coffee dried on African beds and again that's very suggestive of the character we can expect. We're going to look for great acidity, bright acidity, sharp acidity, clarity there, and those fruit tones are gonna to be along that kind of tropical tone. Now, I really think the V60 pour over is a great way of brewing this particular coffee. It really just lifts the kind of flavors and the character we're looking for in this particular coffee. And it happens to be one of my favorite brewing methods. So exactly what can you expect from this coffee? That wonderful, sharp, but crisp acidity hits you first of all, and then immediately your tongue, your mouth is enveloped in this lovely, sweet, dried fruit tone, kind of prune-like in its character. And underlying it all, kind of running through this coffee, there are lovely floral notes. But it's the finish that I really like, and it's a finish that I find most interesting. There's this lovely bittersweet tone of grapefruit in the finish. That lovely sweet character you get from a grapefruit, and that little bit of bitterness, that bitter tinge on your tongue in the finish. It really is a delicious coffee. It was our standout coffee on the table, and we hope you like it just as much as we did. As always, we'd love to hear your thoughts on comments about this or any other of our coffees.